Hello, this is Melissa speaking, and you are watching Melissa's Legally Blind World YouTube channel. If your eye strain exceeds what you can handle, please seek a doctor immediately. I am not a certified doctor. This is just my tips and advice for coping with eye strain from what I experienced throughout my whole life dealing with this annoyance. Um, and it's mostly attributed to the fact that I'm trapped on one eye, I'm being the right. And just want to say, be on high alert, yellow alert, if you are a trick, visually impaired tricky watching this. Um, but if it gets to ouch, I can't handle anymore. Seek an eye doctor immediately. Thank you and enjoy the video. And I pray this video helps some that are dealing with eye strain. Hey guys, today I want to talk about a topic. Um, if you are legally blind, this is a heads up for you. Or if you're trapped on one usable eye like me, listen up. Today we are talking about eye tension aches or strain aches, as they're as I would always call them. Um, but they're, they're I would always say strain aches, but the ter technical term is eye tension ache or ocular tension ache somewhere around there. Um, any blue shirts? Put the medical term in the comments. Starfleet Medical. Um, it's, it's welcome, and and basically what an eye strain ache is, is it's, it's something similar to a headache, only difference is it's above your eye, like where your upper lid uh, meets just above your eyebrow, and Sometimes it'll be on the side of of your head, like like on the side of the eye, um, like the socket, like the side of the of the temple. Um, now, if you have like one non-functional eye and one limitly functional eye, like I do. Um, if you get a strain ache on the unusable side, um, that could be a sign of overworking of the one eye. But unfortunately, there's no choice nor cure um, to strain aches. And I just want to discuss my strategies for coping with strain aches. And one of those strategies is using technology that speaks. As well as magnifying the screen, making it bigger. Um, but most of the, the time, use technology that speaks out like talk back voice over voice view um narrator um jaws whatever the heck program that speaks out um stuff like that and oh come on me i'm uh, i'm trying to find the magnifier and narrator user for computer Talkback user and magnifier user for cell phone. Um, okay. and for Kindle, magnifier and voice view. Um, I use lots of assistive tech 
so to so help me, like, see, I'll be on my phone night. and I'll navigate oh. something to I hear it with talk back. Like, I'll be on either Facebook or Instagram, and I'll be navigating Instagram with talk back um, until I find what I want um, that's under my finger. And yeah, so that's just an example, some examples of some of the technology I utilize and assistive features to help as well. Um, one way to negate strainings is taking an analgesic, like say ibuprofen, aspirin. I'm not a doctor by any means, but I would highly recommend if the strain ache gets worse to seek your eye doctor immediately um, and get scanned and checked out um just to make sure it's not morphing from regular straight ache into something crazy and serious which is what i'm gonna do coming my next appointment um and yeah so if you have an eye strain ache out there um use go the audio route and utilize your stronger senses, your ears, your hands, um, you know, your nose, and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, hope this helps raise awareness about vision impairment and strain aches. Live long and prosper. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed what you have listened to and watched. May the force be with you as you enjoy my other content. I pray you like what you see and hear. And if you do like what I like, feel free to subscribe. May the force be with you.